Yeah, I mean, um, you know, in some ways it mirrored um, the Toledo game uh, in some ways. Um, I, I thought we were better defensively tonight. I thought we really fought, you know, tonight. Um, Buffalo is a very different team and presents a lot of different challenges than what Toledo did. But we had some bad possessions, you know, in the last two and a half, three minutes. You know, I thought Buffalo showed their veterans. Uh, you know, they, they kept their poise. You know, they just executed. They made great plays. They attacked. Uh, they attacked the rim. You know, uh, when uh, when they needed to, they got to the free throw line where they got to layups. You know, so um, kudos to them. They did what they had to do. You know, but I was also proud of our guys. Uh, our guys fight. I don't really have to. I mean, this is a tough. This is a tough, hard nosed group. You know, I told them. You know, afterwards that I was really proud of their fight. Um, you know, Nate Oates told me when we were walking off the court, he said, I don't know what you did to upset the people in the MAC to get these four games um, to start off. But it is what it is. Everybody's going to have to play everybody eventually. You know, it was uh, two years ago we started off MAC play at two and seven. Then we won nine in a row. You know, and, and um, it, again, a very difficult schedule at the front. The difference this year is the MAC right now, at least coming into tonight, net rankings was the eighth best league in the country, or is the best eighth league in the country. And so, um, but uh, this, these kids here, they're, they're battle tested. Our, our schedule, I'm talking about our guys. Um, you know, we've played in some very difficult environments, we've played against some great teams. You know, when you're looking at obviously Michigan, Buffalo, you know, Ole Miss now is in the top 20, you know, as well. Um, Cincinnati, uh, we've played some really difficult uh, uh, games and some teams that have that have given us different challenges now. So, um, you know, they got what, I, what we're working on is getting to an even business-like, very high business-like state of mind, you know, and our, our guys are approaching that. You know, we got to do a better job of executing in the last two and a half, three minutes of the game. And, uh, I think if we do that, um, but but I'm not to answer your question. It's kind of a long way of saying that I don't feel like I'm going to have to keep the guys up. Uh, these guys are these guys are are really tough, hard nosed kids. They're high character kids, and uh, know what has to be done. Really happy with this group. I just really, you know, we really just tried to have work. You know, we we wanted to make everybody. I mean, the thing is with Buffalo is, okay, let's take away Harris. All right, well, then there's Massenburg. All right, well, let's take away Massenburg and Harris. Well, then they lob the ball over the top to Perkins. You know, um, you got you got Carruthers that's just a defensive nightmare out there. You know, there are so many graves. There are so many, you know, about the time you focus on somebody or trying to take away something, somebody else just drives to the ball and there drives the ball and ends up at the rim with two points. You know, and it's not, not him now, too. You know, so um, we just had to make, they're so well balanced um, that we just felt like we had to make everybody work as hard as they could possibly work to get a shot. You know, and, and um, um, you know, we were able to do what we wanted to run at Massenburg uh, and, and, uh, and see if we could get them off the three-point line. That's probably about the only thing that, uh, that we really told the guys about. If he gets it and he's got a wide open three, three then run him inside the line, make him finish. We'd rather, even if he gets a layup, I'd rather give up two than three. Yeah, stop turning the ball over. You know, that's, that we, we had, um, going in, it was highlighted, you can, if you were to go to Robin's pregame show or if you were to look at our board, you know, um, the, the, the keys to the game, you know, coming in were transition defense, um, limit our turnovers, and uh, rebound the ball. You know, and when you look at Buffalo stats, uh, they have good numbers, you know, they have good numbers, not great numbers, you know, in terms of what they're shooting, what they're shooting from three, what they're shooting from two, they're all really solid numbers. But when you look on the year, they're 15 and one, I think coming in, they had taken a thousand more shots than their opponents had. And when you look at, and it comes from the turnover differential, you know, Buffalo turns teams over. And, uh, and, and we had turned the ball over some. We had six in the first four minutes. Thankfully, some of those were not live ball turnovers, but they turn your turnovers into points in a hurry. You know, they are great at that. Not good at it, great at it. You know, and, and so we wanted to stay away from that. It really hurt when Mike got into foul trouble. I mean, Mike only played 23 minutes tonight. It killed us. 
You know, that's a guy that's capable of getting his own shot. That's a guy that, um, you know, is, has been playing really well defensively for us. And it hurts the turnover issue. You know, he he made some himself without question. But um, now it puts the ball in a lot of other people's hands when he's out there with uh, only 23 minutes in the game. Yeah, I think this may be the game we point at. Uh, you know, I'm not saying he's not ever going to have a bad game, but I think this may be the game that we point at and say that there it was. That was the night Patrick turned the corner. We see it in practice. Um, you know, I, I because of Buffalo's offensive rebounding and their length, that we were just we were over beefed and undersized uh, out there. Um, and so, I mean, we had we had uh, you know, if I kept squeak out there, you know, we were giving up a lot of height. Uh, you know, Seth is out there and he can go, you know, obviously, but we've got Josh playing, you know, undersized at the four some and, and Patrick, you know, as a freshman, you know, playing against one of the best teams in the country, you know, but he was playing well, you know, and I just decided to leave him out there. The offensive rebounds really concerned me. And Patrick is a guy that's been playing hard and, and he went out there and made some plays tonight, you know, and, and I think, you know, we hit a couple of threes. He works his tail off. We beat, or we lost to Toledo in the last game in here. And by the time I finished talking with Robin, Patrick had his practice gear on and was shooting uh, already, you know, and so he's a guy that has got, an incredibly high ceiling as we move forward. We've seen it in practice. William, same situation uh, as a freshman. Those two guys are out there a lot. We had a look out there at one point in time. We got DJ at walk-on freshman. Uh, you know, we got we had weird lineups out there because of the foul trouble, but they battled. So I, I thought Patrick was outstanding tonight. Yeah, it was terrific. You know, it was terrific. Um, you know, we had a good good environment. I mean, the students were outstanding. I think Donnie Byer might have messed us up here a little bit on the miscount. I thought we've got a little more than 2,000 people here. But um, we, you know, they were, I mean, the crowd was into it, uh, you know, especially a Tuesday night when we're supposed to, I don't know what it's like outside, but we're supposed to have some freezing drizzle and things like that. So they showed up. And I, I really, you know, I said it in the postgame show, and so many of the comments, I'm getting emails, I'm getting comments um, about, about the brand of basketball that our particular team is playing and we're losing and it's difficult but they keep coming out you know they keep they keep fighting i think our fan i know in my 19 years here the fans appreciate that we're a blue collar city you know we work hard we play hard and and the fans respond you know josh dives on the floor for a loose ball you know over there it goes off them the fans give them a standing ovation when we have those kind of things i think our fans appreciate it you know and and uh um, so yeah, the atmosphere was terrific, and yeah, they certainly helped us tonight. Uh, you know, that's there's no question they help. They help with the energy uh, our guys had. Even we got down there at the beginning of the second half, and I don't know they went up eight nine or whatever. We cut it back to two. They were they were a big part of that. Uh, we came out for our heart. We we just a young group. We still trying to learn, learn each other, learn and finish finish games. Of course, we played against a great team, Buffalo. They had a lot of seniors. They stay level-headed when we had our run, and that's what we got to learn from and keep pushing and uh, do what we got to do to be the team we can be at the end of the year. Uh, I was staying locked in, staying aggressive. Uh, I've been passive the past couple games and not putting my head down and going to the room and just being aggressive. So just me being aggressive, taking the shots I need to and getting to the room when I need, when I need to. Just being that leader, you know, uh, Mike, you know, he's a big part of our scoring. So we just need to uh, learn how to play with him when he's not on the floor because there's going to be times like that when he in foul trouble where we got to play with each other. Me, Seth, uh, when Will come in, and we had uh, DJ come in for a second. So we just got to learn how to play with each other, knowing Mike is a big offensive uh, product for us. So we just need to learn how to just play with each other and keep our head when he's out. We treated as every other game. We knew Buffalo, who Buffalo was, and how hard they play and what kind of team they were. So we, we, got, we had to match their energy, really, or play above it. So we just came in focused, uh, trying not to get over ourselves when we got our run, try to stay level-headed and do what we got to do to win. But like I said, we young, so we just got to keep learning to uh, finish games. Uh, just forcing passes, doing things we're not comfortable doing. I feel like once we got into the rhythm of the game, we knew how fast they played. We just learned to calm down and just let the game come to us and don't get rushed. Pat will be a great player in the future. Uh, he just needs to keep his head. There's a lot of games he loses his head, get down on himself a lot. 
And me as being a leader, I try to tell them, just keep your head. We know you're a great player. We know you can shoot the ball. We know you can do a lot of things. Just keep your head and keep working. So, yeah, Pat did great tonight. I told him that, too, just to get his mindset up. So, yeah, Pat is going to be big for us. Like I said, as a team, we just got to become more mature. We're real young. We're probably the youngest team in the MAC, I feel. And we, I just, as a leader, me and Seth, got to tell him, like, yeah, this is what we're going to be facing. This is the toughest, but at the end of the road, we can still become that top team. So just, you know, keeping our teammates level-headed and do what we can to keep grinding and working. We knowing like, this 0-4 start is putting everybody down and stuff, but at the end of the day, it's how you finish. Uh, that's that's really important. I, I really love our crowd tonight. Uh, I wish we can keep it going. Uh, yeah, that's it was real big for us. We had the energy. They gave us energy to keep pushing and keep fighting. But like I said, I love our fans, and hopefully we can keep that going.